really honored to go in with these other wonderful athletes. I'm going to share a little bit with you, a few things that were fun during my career, and a few things that were not so fun. <laughs> to Coach Fraser, Coach Gooch, Coach Bradshaw, you guys always made things really fun, and I thank you for that, because I probably would have quit if you didn't. <laughs> I uh, want to thank my wife, Jana. Her uh, favorite quote from one of the beat writers is, Todd runs up and down the court with the grace of an unplugged refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun for her, that's not so fun for me. <laughs> Uh, being invited to a Washington Huskies Legends dinner in a room much like this one was fun. What wasn't so fun was when my chair spontaneously and suddenly exploded. Anyway, I took that as a good opportunity to get in mind for dessert. They quickly replaced my chair, but it was with the same make and model that I had just reduced to shrapnel. So I ended up kind of having to power squat the rest of the night so it didn't happen again. So, uh, Rick, thank you for my great chair. It's been awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so the very next morning, as I was trying to forget the, uh, the previous night's things, I was reminded when the toilet seat beneath me cracked. And <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, fun when a high school friend and teammate, Jeff Cron, glad he couldn't be here tonight, asked me if I could help him in a radio contest where the winner is the person who gets the most famous person to call in on their behalf. What wasn't so fun is when Jeff asked me if I could ask Steve Nash to call in on his behalf. <laughs> it's fun to know that when you get to the NBA, people can buy your jersey from the NBA store. What's not as fun is when you try and do that in person, you're told by the salesperson, for M's we have McElwain, McMillan, McDaniel, sorry, we only have good players. <laughs> Playing the Olympics with Team Canada was fun, coach flight to Australia was not. <laughs> Playing with Nash, Iverson, and Kidd made basketball fun, as you saw playing against Shep, it was not. <laughs> Setting NBA records is fun. Not so fun as realizing the three records you hold include consecutive shot fakes, six, this guy, uh, being 50% of the only NBA team in history with two redheads, and three, while closely guarded, guarded by seven foot six Sean Bradley, uh, I became the only player to jump up with the basketball and come down with it without shooting or getting fouled. <laughs> Fortunately, the referee called a foul and Sean rightfully went crazy. He didn't touch me. He didn't. I apologize later. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun being on the cover of Slam Magazine. You guys saw that picture? That's evidence. That's, that hasn't been photoshopped. That's real. What's not as fun is when you read through the magazine, you read the small print, and you see a reader that asks, how the heck did McCulloch end up on the cover of that magazine? And the editor's response is, yeah, we're trying to figure that one out as well. <laughs> it's in there. Uh, what's fun is playing basketball in LA and spending a little time at the pool at the region Beverly Wilshire before a game. What isn't so fun is uh, getting so sunburned you're afraid to take off your warm-up and become the first NBA player to miss a game because of a heat stroke injury. <laughs> it's uh, fun meeting strangers at the airport, at least it is for me. What's strange is one of them asked me, aren't you Scott McCulloch's brother? Uh, he went on to tell me that Scott was the best boss that he had ever had, and it got me thinking that growing up, he was the best boss of me that I had. Uh, water skiing in the off season is fun. What isn't fun is uh, when you put so much tension on the rope and it snaps, and the recoil almost takes up Chris the boat driver, Sean the spotter, uh, and my friend Paul almost dies of laughter on shore. <laughs> Uh, Chris, on that note, I did not sink your boat. I was trying to help and needed to sit. So do me a favor and get over it. <laughs> it's fun telling people like the guy on my flight here that I sat next to that I'm getting inducted into the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame. Not as fun when he guesses it's for the CFL. <laughs> Whenever a basketball game comes on in my home, and that's very frequent during the playoffs, my daughter will turn to me, she's six, and she'll say, Daddy, you used to play basketball when you were a little boy. She's right. I never really grew up from that little boy who played basketball because it was fun. And I'll finish with this. One night during story time, my six-year-old daughter said to me, Daddy, I don't like you because I love you. That was followed by my four-year-old son, Dylan, saying to his sister, Common, I don't like you. I never mind. <laughs> so to all of you tonight who have supported me in so many ways, I say to you, I don't like you because I love you.